Hello everyone, welcome back to your Trust Education Center. Today we are diving into some fun and useful idioms that you can use in your daily conversations. So here you can see the picture like book or studying. So what will be the idioms for today? I will share. Can you guess? Today idiom will be regarded about school, studying and learning. These idioms will not only make you sound more natural when speaking English, but they'll also help you express yourself better. So let's get started. Our first idiom is keep your notes in the book. This means to focus on studying and not get distracted. Imagine someone who always studying. They've got their notes in a book all the time. For example, she keeps her notes in the books and always get good grades. So, if you want to do well in school, just keep your notes in the books and you'll see the result. Next up is go over your head. This idiom is used when something is too difficult to understand. Maybe a lesson in a class is so confusing that it just goes right over your head. Let's see with an example. The math lesson went over my head. I'll need to review it again. So if something goes over your head, don't worry. It just means you might need a little more practice. So when you have a difficulty in the lesson, don't forget to use these idioms. In your daily conversation. So our third idiom is learn the hard way. This means to learn something through experience, usually after making mistakes. For example, I learned the hard way that procrastinating leads to stress. Learning the hard way isn't always fun, but those lessons stick with you for life. No one is perfect, right? You can recognize your mistake and learn from them to make your life to be better in the future. Now, let's talk about crack the books. This means to begin studying seriously. For example, I need to crack the books tonight to prepare for the science exam. So, if you have something big coming up, make sure you crack the books and prepare well. Our next idiom is learn by heart. You may already heard it before. It means to memorize something go so well that you can see it without thinking. For example, we had to learn the poem by heart for English class. When you learn something by heart, it becomes a part of you, right? Finally, we have in hot water. This idiom means in, in trouble or facing a difficult situation. Let's see with an example to be more clear. He's in hot water with the teacher for not doing his homework. So, if you don't want to end up in hot water, make sure you stay on top of your responsibilities. Okay, and, and that's for today's idioms. I hope these examples helped you understand how to use them in your own conversations. We have learned some useful idioms, and now it's time to put them to the text with a fill in the blank exercise. I read out some sentences with blanks, and I want you to think about which idiom fits best. Ready? Let's get started. 1. She forgot to submit her project on time and now she's blank with her teacher. 2. If you want to do well in your exams, you should blank. 3. He didn't listen to advice and had to blank. That being late to work has consequences. Number 4. The new concept in class was so complicated. That it's completely blank. Five. 
With a big test coming up, it's time to plan and start preparing. This expression are really common in daily English. Remember, the more you practice, the more natural they will become. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more fun and easy English tips. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.